screencasting and the way of working with e-tests. Here is my e-test in mathematics for class 4. I open it by double click. I must enable the macros because it is a macro embedded Excel worksheet. This is how it comes before the students. The student has to write his name, roll number, date, and then come to the section of student's answer. From here, using the down arrow key, he can write the correct answer, A or B or C or D or C or D. Suppose he wants to write E, it will not accept. Validation has been put into this. So after writing the answers in this way, going through all the questions, he can skip a few questions if he wants. I just tried to write something else. B, A, 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 B. I have solved a few questions. Then, when the question paper is over, when he finishes everything, he can ask for his score by clicking, please show my score. When he clicks this, he gets a message. Would you like to log the answers? If the student is sure that he has completed it, he can't do anything else. He can say yes or if he says no, he gives a chance to check his answers once again. Again, he has to click show my score and when he logs the answers, only then he gets a score. That too with a message, what type of score does he want? Does he want it with negative marking or without negative marking? If he says no, he'll get it without negative. Say I say no, I don't want any negative marking. So here is the score, 2. I answered the questions randomly, did not even uh, look into the questions. So I could get only 2 right answers. The beauty of this test is, once the student has finished, he cannot change any of the answers. All these are logged for him. No chance. So here it is final. This is the student's part. Now let's see what the teacher can do. Using the same format, the teacher can frame thousands of questions, question papers. This workbook contains three sheets. So click here and unhide. We have two more sheets to unhide. One is question bank and one is cash. Cash is of no use to teacher or paper setter. It's only for the developer. You just unhide the question bank. And you can see 60 questions. At the most, you can write six, 60 questions in one format. One question followed by four options. And the correct answer also has to be written, but it's hidden here. In column G, you write the correct answer. When you have done with the question paper setting, write your name and hide the answer column and also hide the question bank sheet because the student should not know that the answers are available somewhere here so hidden this is how it goes before the student so it's a nice way of testing because you have written your name in that question paper set it has appeared here the name of the paper setter always appears here and the name of format setter is here. One more request I have for you. If you wish to set question papers which can be accessed by more and more students, after setting a paper, I request you to send the paper back to me so that I can publish the same on CTOR which will be accessible to all students. Uh, ctor.n is my website wherein I upload all such works done by teachers. It's for the students and teachers. It's a platform to share things. Thank you very much.